Hello, hello, hello. And it's Monday evening again. Happy Monday. I hope you had a nice weekend, whatever you got up to this weekend. So today we're going to be talking about motivational milestones or how I like to think about goals. But before I go into that, if you are watching me, please do give me a little thumbs up to let me know you're there or a little heart because it's really nice when the hearts come bouncing across the screen. Um, and if you have any questions at all or any comments to make, please do drop them in the comments box. If you're watching this on Catch Up, do tag me in the comment and I will hopefully reply to you later on. I'll be able to see it. In fact, even if you're watching this live, give me a tag because it doesn't always show the comments while I'm, while I'm uh, on live. So motivational milestones, it's how I like to think about goals. And the reason why I'm thinking about milestones rather than goals is because sometimes when we think about a goal, it can become a finite fixed thing. When we work really hard towards achieving a specific thing, perhaps once we've achieved it, the focus isn't on continuing the behavior or continuing the habit or continuing the hard work after we've achieved the thing. And often, a lot of the time, the reason we put goals in place is, is to improve ourselves, whatever that is, whether it be a dance practice, a movement practice, or something else in your life. So you probably want to keep that going um, uh, for future. And if you have a goal, sometimes it can trick your mind into thinking, oh, we've achieved the goal, we're finished now, we're done, and then we don't continue. Uh, a classic example, certainly from a belly dance perspective, I know I've encountered this one, is when you're preparing for a performance. I know myself, sometimes I'll work really hard for a specific performance or show, and then all of the momentum is lost. And for a few weeks afterwards, I just don't have... Um, the momentum or I don't even know what to practice anymore because uh, the show's done and the, the goal has been achieved. So what I like to think about instead to help me is motivational milestones. And these are nice little markers along the way, perhaps if you have a bigger picture thing you're working towards, but or perhaps just general overall um, something that you want to achieve in life that isn't a fixed thing like I want to be the best dancer I can be you know something along those lines having little markers along the way to give you a little boost of achievement and to show you that you are progressing and it doesn't feel like you're just treading water like it can do sometimes this can really really help you so for example for me at the moment I'm working on my finger symbols and I've got I haven't really got like a, a big goal for that but I obviously want to be the best cymbal player that I can be so at the moment my milestone is working on a kind of multi-tonal practice twice a week and that's what I'm working on for, for this month and hopefully I can achieve that milestone and then perhaps next month I'll choose something different just to keep me motivated and keep it a little bit different and as I go along I keep track of these milestones and I can tick them off and perhaps at the end of six months or a year and see all the little milestones I've achieved. Perhaps in terms of your movement practice a lot of people who come to me sometimes say they just want to move better they might not have something specific they just want to um, feel more flexible they might want to feel more looser in the hips they might want to feel stronger and that's not necessarily a very easy thing to quantify but if you put these motivational milestones in place then that can keep you moving towards things for example if you want to um, achieve a certain number of practices a week or if you want to pick a challenging exercise and go from being able to do five reps to 10 reps, something along those lines. Uh, and then once you've hit the milestone, it gives you a, a clear pathway of what the next milestone might be and where you can continue to build on that. Going back to the example of the performance prep, for example, you might want your bigger picture vision to be being the best dancer you can be or um, working with your group in in the community, something along alongside that. So the performance could be your milestone, um, but perhaps when you're thinking about that, you might want to consider what happens after the performance. Do you have something that can keep you motivated? Maybe you have like a week's break afterwards to recoup, but then what's going to be your next practice? Maybe it's, you know, cleaning up your shimmy or practicing your finger symbols, for example, and then put that in place. So you've always got something to work towards. So, um, 
also the other thing I wanted to say as well is at the moment we're in um, weird times and it can be quite difficult to have big picture goals right now because everything's so uncertain with COVID. No one knows what's going on at the moment. Uh, most of us don't have performances lined up anyway in the same way that we might usually do. All of the hafflers have been cancelled. There's been some, you know, some online ones going on, but obviously it's not as much going on at the moment. We're really not sure what's going on at the moment. So having these little motivational milestones can help to keep you moving, help to keep you doing something when everything else in the world is so insure at the moment. You're not working towards this big, massive goal, for example, but just having a little thing that you can work towards each week or each month can really keep you on track. Excuse me. So that's all I have to say about that today. Greta's just popped up and says she loves it. Thank you, Greta. Nice to hear from you. Nice to see you. I hope you're well. And um, uh, Sophia's watching as well. Hi, Sophia. How are you doing? And let's just have a quick look and see if anyone else pops in the comments box. Um, no, I haven't seen anyone else pop in. So if anyone's got any questions or comments they want to add about this, I'm going to be wrapping up. So drop them in there quickly. Otherwise, I will remind you just to give me a little thumbs up or a little heart if you have enjoyed this little bit of a pep talk today. I would love to know if you have any milestones that you're working on at the moment. Please do pop them in the comments box below. I'd love to know what you're working on or if you want any help working on anything at the moment, I can hopefully give you some assistance. And the link to my mailing list is in the comments box. So if you're not already on there, get on there. I'm going to be taking a break for a couple of weeks. So you won't see me on the live videos until um, mid-September. But then when I get back from my holiday, I am going to be announcing my next intake for my private clients to work with me um, on flex. Uh, hip flexibility and um, working on your shimmy so keep an eye out for that and make sure that you're on my mailing list um, so that you can get informed about that when I get back from holiday and we're going to be starting towards uh, end of September beginning of October. Okie doke I think that's it from me uh, I'm going to sign off now I haven't seen any other comments oh Lizzie's watching hi Lizzie how are you doing um, uh, I haven't seen any other comments pop in so I hope you're all well I hope you've enjoyed this stay safe and I will see you in a couple of weeks lots of love <laughs>